Uh, I think early on I wasn't really uh, a guy that talked a lot in, in the room. I was just kind of go out there on the ice and uh, play as hard as I can. You know, uh, maybe I am a little competitive, but it's not, it's not like I wake up and tell myself I'm going to be competitive today. It's just how I grew up and uh, with all my buddies back home, everything we did was just, we just competed and it's, uh, I, I take a lot of joy into it. Obviously you have no idea where you're going and uh, I didn't even know if I was going first round or what was going to happen. But uh, and I was kind of a little surprised that Flyers picked me. Uh, growing up, and just Flyers have a, re a reputation of being tough and uh, big, and so it, I was uh, a little shocked. But uh, it was great. I mean, since since first day, uh, they treated me so uh, uh, so so well, and um, you know, it's been uh, it's been great. The 18th captain of the Philadelphia Flyers. When I came into the league, uh, there was a lot of veteran players that uh, were great players, and they've been captains before or, uh, or uh, assistant captains. So, uh, you know, obviously playing for uh, for Mike Richards, um, he's one guy that the way he led, it was uh, uh, he 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 definitely did it the right way. And then you have guys like Dan, uh, Danny B and Hartsey and uh, Pronger and and uh, Yags uh, to have those guys to be able to. Um, you know, just being leaders without even trying to be leaders, I think that that was the best way. Now it's always a dream when you're a kid to, to be in the Santa Cup Finals and, and win the Cup. And uh, We're down 2 nothing, and uh, going overtime, we really needed that win. And, I ended up getting, getting that goal and just seeing the crowd after the puck went in and all the teammates jumping on me. I mean, you can't, uh, you can't even describe that kind of feeling. I think one moment actually that was, I'll remember for a long time is uh, Oscar when, uh, when he came back. It, I think, uh, uh, you know, I got goosebumps right now just thinking about it. Stick taps all around here for Oscar Lindblom. Wow, what a nice moment for both teams. Uh, sure is. Recognizing a face-off at center ice, both benches tapping. There's not a better guy than, than Oscar and for him to be able to come back and, and, and beat cancer and just the way the way he is as, as a person, never complained once and, you know, uh, I've never been so happy for, uh, for one of my teammates. I've been just enjoying the ride and uh, you know the fans they're hard on us when it's not going well and you know it's it's just since I'm since I'm 19 that's how it's been so it's kind of normal for me and you know it's it's just a passion that they, they they bring and there's so many games that after the game like that's probably the loudest I've heard the crowd and then a year later I, I hear the crowd a lot louder so um, you know, there's been so many fun moments with them. Take it down. Giroux's got it. Gosses Bear with him. The pass is tipped. Gosses Bear kept it alive. Tipped it to Giroux. Who scores? Oh, Giroux wins the game. Gosses They've always been there, uh, good or bad. You know, just appreciate the passion. Uh, that's how. That's how I grew up. That's how I am. Uh, I lay. Uh, anything you do in life, you gotta do it hard, and uh, you know uh, I couldn't relate more to uh, to the fans. Uh, when me and my my wife spent a lot of years here together, and then and then now we have we have two boys that are grow uh, are growing up here, and uh, you know when I see uh, when I see Gavin at the uh, at the class during the warm up. You know, I just, you can just tell how much he loves it. And, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's like me a little bit. He's, he's, he's very passionate. Um, he gets excited just, just for the warm ups. And, uh, you know, he, uh, it's definitely, Philly's gonna be a uh, uh, part of our, uh, our family for the rest of our life. Awesome, thank you.